Well, I've got something special today. I said last week that I would announce who won the New King James Ancient Modern Bible this week. It was really tough. There were some great comments and to try and sort through them all was rather difficult. But after a very thorough and rigorous process of adjudication, I've arrived at a winner. I was going to save this announcement until the end of the video, just to keep you in suspense and watching the video. But I have a giveaway this week also. And so I'm sure you will stick around then to learn how to win this Bible. So let's talk about who won the New King James Ancient Modern Bible first. So I liked the comment by Dylan Moore. This Bible would be a valuable resource for me as I enter into the world of Anglicanism. At the core of my calling is the drive to make accessible to the world the rich traditions and practices of the Christian faith. This particular publishing of the New King James Bible will fit right into my library as I continue to search for resources along these lines of ancient future worship. So Dylan, let me know a mailing address and I will get this out to you as soon as possible. I have another giveaway this week, the Net Bible Full Notes Edition. Before I jump into that, let's get a disclaimer out of the way first. I contacted Thomas Nelson and asked them if they could send me this Bible to review and give away. They graciously sent me this Net Full Notes Edition of the Bible, know my exchange hands, they didn't ask to see my review before I published it on YouTube, but I want to graciously thank them for sending me this copy of the Net Bible and also the New King James Version Ancient Modern Bible that I just gave away. Thank you very much, Thomas Nelson. Second disclaimer for this video. You're watching The Caffeinated Bible. My name is David Paris, and the goal of this channel is to take what I've been teaching in seminary for the past 20 to 30 years and make it available to you on YouTube so that you can read your Bibles in a much more informed and stimulating manner. So if you like these videos, you know what to do. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and let other people know about it as well. I first learned about the NET translation back in probably 2005, 2006, when they published this edition of a diglot version of the Greek New Testament. It has English on one side and then Greek on the other side. I'm really not sure if they still publish this Greek English version, but it was a wonderful text. And this is why I was so excited to learn about their full notes edition of the entire Bible. Now, there are a couple very unique features about the Net Bible. It was one of the first Bibles with notes to be fully online at Bible.org. The second interesting feature is the way they produce their translation. Net stands for New English Translation. The Net translation was produced by a team of 25 scholars. The first edition of the Net translation was produced in 2001. And as they were working on their translation, they would post their working drafts publicly on the internet. This allowed other scholars or interested people to review and ask questions about their translation. They would then filter these questions and suggestions to improve their translation. At the same time, it's important to note that this translation is not an open source compilation, nor was it a crowdsourced type of translation. Really, it was the work of the translators and their engagement with the comments and the questions from around the world that produced this totally new and innovative manner for doing a biblical translation. They then released revisions of this in 2003, then 2005, where they did the diglot, the Greek English version. And then finally, they just released the complete Net Bible, both Old and New Testament with complete notes in 2019. Dr. Gene Getz from Biola University writes, the Net Bible is ingenious. It's continuously updated translations supported by an array of quality footnotes on the original languages will be an invaluable resource for pastors, missionaries, and well-trained laymen. I will include links below this video where you can purchase a version of the Net Bible if you're interested, but also it can be freely downloaded on the internet for your smartphone, tablet, or computer. And so I will include those links underneath the video as well. Let's take a look at what's contained in the Net Full Notes Bible. First off, this is not really a study Bible in the traditional sense, like the English Standard Version study Bible that I gave away last year. Study Bibles tend to have material like introductions to the different books, 
like the New King James Ancient Modern Bible that I gave away, they will have illustrations, history, archaeology, charts, material like this. The Net Full Notes Bible really doesn't contain that type of material. Rather, it contains three types of notes, and there are over 60,000 of those included in this Bible. These include translator notes, study notes, and then textual commentary notes. So let's take a look at the translator notes first. The translation notes are designated by a little TN in the footnotes. And these notes explain the rationale for a particular translation and give alternate or interpretive options and other technical information about why they translate a particular word or a phrase the way they did. For example, when I did my video on John chapter three, I'll include a link to the video over here. When I did the diagram to explain the grammar and the meaning of John 3, 16, I translated that as, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And a number of people commented or questioned about why I translated that as only and did not have only begotten. Now, if we look at the net notes here, they translate this phrase as he gave his one and only son. And they have a little footnote here that explains why. And the translation note says that although this word is translated as only begotten, such a translation is misleading since in English it appears to express a metaphysical relationship. The word in the Greek was used of an only child, like a son in Luke 7.12 or 9.38, or a daughter in Luke 8.42. It was also used of something that was unique. Thus, the word means one of a kind and is reserved for Jesus in John's writings in the New Testament. Now that's an edited down edition of their notes here. While the Net Full Notes Bible provides a level of transparency not found in other Bibles, think this Bible can be used by anyone. You don't need Greek or Hebrew to look at it, but it's definitely more of an advanced level study Bible. Oftentimes when I'm preparing a lecture or a video, I'll take a look at their notes to see if there's any features or words in the passage that I may have missed or need more attention than I first thought. The second type of notes that they include are study notes, and these are designated by a small SN in the footnotes. These are explanatory notes that include comments about the historical or cultural background. They might give an explanation of an obscure phrase or a brief discussion of the context or the theological importance of a particular text. The third type of note are textual critical notes. These are designated by a TC in the text. They highlight alternate readings found in various Hebrew, Aramaic, or Greek manuscripts. Now these TC notes are more oriented towards those who have had Greek or Hebrew. For passages where there is some significant debate, these textual critical notes or discussions are longer and easier to understand. So for example, if I turn to John chapter eight, the first 11 verses there, you have the story of the woman caught in adultery. The Net Bible marks this off by double brackets at the beginning and end of this passage and includes a rather lengthy discussion about this passage. It also includes study notes that explain this as well. They tell us that the double brackets have been placed around this passage to indicate that most likely it was not part of the original text of John. In spite of this, the passage has an important role to play in the history of the transmission of the text, so it's been included in the translation. Now their textual commentary note on this runs almost three or four full columns in the text here. At the very end, they write in terms of internal factors like vocabulary and style of John, the pericope does not stand up very well. The question may be asked whether this incident, although not an original part of the Gospel of John, should be regarded as authentic tradition about Jesus. It could well be that it is an ancient and may indeed represent an unusual instance where such a tradition has survived outside the bounds of the canonical literature. So you see, they give you a great deal of information on textual issues, a lot more than you're going to get in most other Bibles. Now, as I said, they've made all of their notes and translation freely available on the internet at bible.org. 
and you can take a look at that on your own. From reading other people's reviews of study Bibles, it seems like Genesis 1-1 is the go-to text to take a look at to see about these study notes. And in this regard, the Net Bible does not disappoint. It only contains two verses, Genesis 1-1 and 1-2, and the entire rest of the page, and then spilling over onto the next page, are their notes. So you get an idea just from Genesis 1-1 about how thorough they are in providing notes. Now there's additional material at the very back of the Bible that's very helpful. These include a two-page article on the principles of translation that they employed. After this, they include a list of works that are cited frequently throughout their notes. This is very useful in case you want to learn more information about that particular topic as well. And then finally, what appears to be my favorite section often, they include seven full color maps. This Bible is really well made. The binding is great. It lays flat no matter how you open it and it's not really curved over. And as I said at the beginning, it's also available in electronic formats as modules for Accordance Bible software, Olive Tree, Word Search, and eSword. Their website also includes links to a Chinese translation with the full notes as well. And these are available at netbible.com slash download. Just like the New King James Ancient Modern Bible, this is a beautifully made Bible. The binding on it is great. It feels wonderful in your hand. It lays flat and you can adjust it no matter how it lays. In fact, it's only with great remorse that I'll be mailing this Bible out to someone who wins it. So what do you have to do to have a chance to win this version of the Net Full Notes Bible? First off, you need to be a subscriber to my channel. Second thing is, you need to have a US mailing address. Third thing is, you need to leave a comment underneath this video, but with a twist this time. You need to go to the Net Bible online, and I have the links underneath this video, and look at their notes on John chapter one. And then in your comment underneath this video, briefly tell me, one idea that you learn from their notes about John chapter 1. In a week and a half from now, I'll look through all the different comments and announce the winner of this particular Bible. I think, I guess if I really have to. This is going to be a tough one to get rid of. I really like this Bible. It is a wonderful Bible. There were some great comments under the videos in regard to the New King James Ancient Modern Bible. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments about the Net Full Notes Bible over the next week and a half. So until then, peace. Mm -hmm.